2016 Ford F-150, gonna let you guys listen to its stock right before I change the filter. All right, I'm gonna go through the install. Um, it says step one, disconnect the map sensor. I'm gonna kinda just show you guys where all this is. So the map sensor is right here. And then it says to loosen the OE intake clamps using an eight millimeter nut driver from the left and right side runners. So there's the OE intake clamps. There's one right there the other one is right there one thing that i did notice is an eight millimeter i had right here nut driver actually didn't fit so i don't know if the 2016 is a little different than the 15 so i ended up just using a regular flat tip screwdriver it says to unclap the top portion of the oe box so here's the clamps on those and then after that, it says to remove the OE intake and top portion of the OE air box by pulling straight up. So I'm going to pause the video real quick, loosen everything up, and do that. All right, here it is. Pretty much just popped it off. It's laying on its side over here. Kind of interesting intake design right there. I haven't taken the map sensor off. I figured it'd be easier to pull it off when it's accessible. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Pretty much just a quarter turn, and then you're gonna pull it out. So there's the stock intake pretty much sitting down. Guy here. Now let's go to the next step. So it says the next step. Is carefully remove the plastic wiring harness clips from the back edge of the lower box. So that's pretty much right here. We're gonna move these clips. It says carefully. I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video and pop them out. All right, I got them popped out. I just had to wiggle and pull. Take the original filter out. Place that down. All right, so on to the next step. It says refer to step figure C for step six through seven. Install AFE housing and fasten clips. Insert filter and place clamps loosely. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. All right. I'm gonna put it, place it in there. Slides in from the back a little little tabs right here fall into place and we'll fold it there then we come over here and we snap in the stock and then you'll have your filters pushed in right here and you're going to slide your band clamps over the top go ahead and slide this band clamp over the top all right so for Refer to D for steps 8 through 9. Remove the map sensor from the OE intake, quarter turn clockwise. Install the map sensor on the rear AFE intake tube using the provided grommet. The grommet can be held inside the tube to give support while inserting. Shove it in there. All right. Okay. 
good. There it is. Let's see it. Kind of hard to see, but you can see it in the inside there. All right, so for the next steps, it says install the small straight coupling across the over tube. Install clamps, do not tighten. Fit tubes into the remaining couplers, adjust for best fit, and tighten all clamps. Connect the sensor harness. Install edge trimming on housing if no cover is to be used. Remove trim if using optional cover. So here's the pipe. <clears throat> so this guy is essentially going to come in right here. This one's going to come in right here. You'll see they'll tech connect to your stock pipe there and your stock pipe there. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the video and get all the companies to the point where they need to be. One thing that I did notice, I don't know if this was the design, but in this H pipe, they have the crossover pipe, but there's just this small little hole right there. I would assume it would have been open. Maybe there's a reason behind it, or maybe this one didn't get drilled out completely. I'm going to ask AFE about that one.